Mark Stone. I'm associate professor of music here at Oakland University. Um, I direct the world music program or coordinate the world music program and I also coordinate the percussion program. I'm Roger Braun. I'm professor of percussion at Ohio University and I'm here at Oakland University as a guest artist and guest composer working with their world percussion and a percussion ensemble. As the World music program developed, uh, and I had a lot more percussion majors uh, playing in the steel band, playing the African drum group. I wanted to start an ensemble that was specifically for our percussion majors, so pe people that have played percussion for many years, to really challenge them. Percussion ensembles have been the standard part of university uh, life uh, since the 1950s. And so the World Percussion Ensemble is actually an extension of that tradition. The World Percussion Ensemble is, is really great because it can encompass many different styles and traditions of music from all over the world. So Mark Stone here at Oakland University has one of the top world percussion ensembles in the country. We choose different repertoire each semester, so we, we rotated. So last semester we focused on traditional Ghanaian music. Uh, the semester before that, it was music of Uganda. Uh, the semester before that, it was the music of India. Uh, but this semester, we're, we're back home and we wanted to really focus on jazz. It's amazing how much there is uh, in the musical traditions of the world that, can, that is percussion based and can be part of this ensemble. Well, the end goal is going to be a concert, a world percussion concert, um, in joint with this program. So it's a couple different groups playing in the same concert. Any performance-based class, concerts tend to be like our final exam for this semester. So in a, uh, maybe a lecture discussion-based class, there might be a, a paper, or in my musical world cultures class, I had people doing presentations on, on China and Turkey this morning. So in a performance-based class, the concert is the time for everything they've learned throughout the semester. It comes together. We put it on a stage and they invite their family and friends uh, to experience uh, the art form that they've been studying all semester. So yeah, the concert is just a great outlet and it's, it's really fun for us to get to put the music together and to share it with everyone on the stage. On any given semester it can be different uh, uh, instruments depending on the repertoire. Just in this semester alone I'm playing marimba, I'm playing vibraphone, I'm playing congas, and I'm playing drum set. But this semester, uh, with the focus being on jazz, we have as our guest artist my good friend Roger Braun, who at his university, Ohio University, over many years has developed a lot of repertoire for a jazz percussion ensemble. And he's established uh, instrumentation that includes two vibraphones, uh, two marimbas, um, drum set, of course. Also, uh, we incorporate upright and electric bass and then other percussion including congas, bongos, timbales, and then as well as some steel drum parts. It's great because I'm able to experience the music from all the different angles that are, you know, uh, of percussion because there's so, there's so many percussion instruments, so it's, it's really cool to like, it's like different every piece. I get to kind of branch out a little bit. There are, I think, a lot of benefits. Uh, I mean, first, musically, the students get to expand in ways they may not. That can include things like learning by rote. It can include singing and dancing along with playing. It's a whole different style of music to learn. So I think also in terms of uh, diversity and knowledge of musics of the world, it's great to have that first-hand performance experience in something that they haven't maybe done before. It's important to experience the music of many different cultures. Uh, our music majors, uh, many of them are music education majors, so they're going to be teaching down the road and, and they'll be teaching in many diverse environments. Uh, and it's good to learn about the many diverse cultures found in the United States. My favorite part of the Ensemble State would be just playing tunes. I mean, it's just it's just great every time I'm there. It's just a great time just playing. So jazz has roots in Africa, and studying all these other musics, you know, like African music, Cuban music, Brazilian music, you see like the path that all these music cultures have taken as they've traveled around the world and encountered each other and fused and created something new and it's just it's really interesting to me and so I feel like I have a, 
I'm able to have a deeper understanding of the things I do. It is exciting to, as a composer, do this work on your own alone and have this idea, hear this sound in your mind, and then come and have it realized. So it's, it is very exciting that the students are um, connecting with my music and are playing it really well and that I'm even learning more about my music as I work with them. With the percussion ensemble focusing on jazz repertoire, we're bringing together a really wide range of percussion instruments. So we have uh, three steel drum players in the group. We have uh, timpani <laughs> being used in the group, drum sets, so just a wide range of instruments. So as we were having our dress rehearsal last night and I was directing the group, I just kind of sat back and was taking it all in. It's just a, such a big uh, sound. So that's really my favorite part is that overall sound. Thank you.